welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so today I'm doing another favourites and this time I'm going to do beauty favourites. So in my last fashion favourites, which I do kind of monthly, um, someone asked that I do beauty. So I thought I would do beauty. I'm not going to do it monthly, but I'm just kind of, if I have favourites um, that I want to talk about and enough for a video, then I'll do it. But obviously I'm not a huge like beauty blogger. I do get sent quite a lot of stuff. So, and it has increased recently. So I am trying out a lot more products. So I guess it does seem fitting, but it's not something that I'm going to do monthly because I don't really feel like I switch up my routine enough to do it. Um, I am thinking of doing more beauty videos. Like if there's anything you want to see, let me know. But maybe um, just, so I've recently been gifted some Clinique stuff and it's like a seven day trial. So I thought I'd do maybe like just vlog me trying it out so if you want me to do videos like that like whilst I'm actually trying it like a real time testing kind of video then let me know so I'm not going to blabber too long I'm going to get started with the favourites there's quite a few because obviously I've never done one before so I've tried to pick like I've tried to minimalise it um, but yeah I have picked quite a few pieces so my first fashion beauty I'm a number one fashion beauty and like honestly if I had to pick one thing that I have in my beauty makeup everything that I could like keep before I start again it would be this is Jaloo so it's a Russian brand um I think it's Russian the lady who owns it is Russian um and it's basically based on um their skincare ideas so um in Russia her and her mum and her grandma and everyone they use ice therapy so they rub ice cubes into their skin um, as their skincare daily routine and they actually um, mix their own skincare so she said um, they don't just like go and buy creams they'll make their own creams by like um, collecting herbs and stuff and crushing them and making their own kind of concoctions and so this is kind of to do with that so basically you get a tea bag with um, some herbs in it and you make like a cup of tea um, which makes the mixture and you brew it for about half an hour I think and then you pop it in here and freeze it and then um, this is like a silicone pouch type thing that you can reuse and you just literally every morning defrost it pop it out and um, just go over your face I go over twice but I don't like hesitate in any areas because obviously you don't want like ice burn on your face um, and then rinse off and you I don't know when you use it because personally I don't have a huge skincare routine I literally just use this rinse it off and then put my serum and my um, uh, moisturiser on or sometimes I don't even put serum on I just put moisturiser on and um, this has been working amazingly I don't know if the postman's in the street I don't know what my dog is doing um, but yeah anyway it's been working amazingly I've literally my spots were reduced so much they've come back recently I've been getting spots again but I think it's mainly due to stress and diet it's nothing to do with anything like this because I used this for two months and I literally had no spots the entire time. Even when I was on my period, like the most stressful, spot prone time, I had nothing. And I definitely put it all down to this. So my next favourite is Kerastar. Kerastas? Kerastay? I don't know how you say it. But basically this range is incredible. I went for a blow dye at the dance scene the other day and they used this product on me. And I actually had it in a bag waiting to try because I was kind of gifted it. And I was like, oh my god, this stuff is amazing afterwards. So I've been using it ever since. And oh my gosh, it is amazing. So I've been using the um, shampoo and conditioner, which is great. And then also this, which is the Elixir Ultimate Oleo Complex, the Imperial. I don't know what it's, the proper name is, but I'll link it all below. And I just use this when... I have just washed my hair and um, just put some through and also it, you can use it as a styling tool it said so I just used it this morning too so my hair when I wash it it goes a bit frizzy so I just put one pump on and just like put it through my ends and just kind of like gave it like a glossy smooth down kind of look so another new beauty thing that I've been trying recently and absolutely loving is um, Deborah Lipman nails so I was actually gifted this to try as well and it's these, first of all it's these two nail varnishes, um, the Gel Lab Pro and there's a base coat and a top coat and essentially you don't have to use Deborah Lippmann nail varnishes in between any nail varnishes and it gives you the gel effect and it actually, I've got it on now and I've had it on for over a week so my nails are a bit chipped 
but my nails have been lasting so much more than they have on any other nail varnish. I literally have to paint my nails like every two days because I'm so clumsy. Um, so yeah, I really, really, really am enjoying these because they're just saving me a lot of time and effort, to be honest. And also, I've been using them with another Jet Bulletman nail varnish, which is this one, and it is the colour Shape of My Heart. And I've been getting so many compliments on this because it's kind of like, it's a pink colour, but it's not too like... Barbie girly pink is more of like a natural neutral colour. Even my boyfriend complimented it, which I think is like a major thing. So next I thought I'd go on to makeup. And so the things, obviously this is like my first favourites that I've done. So I've just picked like the pieces of makeup that I wear and love all the time. None of these are like new. They're just things that I repurchase a lot. So the first thing is concealer. I use um, the Collection Lasting Perfection concealer every friggin day. I love it so much, it's amazing, I've tried so many different um, concealers, I've tried NARS, I've tried MAC, I've tried so many different ones, this one is always the winner. I got it after watching um, Sarah Ashcroft's video, because she always has like insane makeup, and yeah, I've never looked back. The only thing I would say with this is that you do need a powder to um, put on top, because it is quite thick and creamy, so... I found that when I first started wearing it, my mascara was like bleeding into my under eyes. So yeah, just make sure you put a powder on too because you don't want that to happen. So the next thing that I've been loving and using as well for over a year um, is the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation. Got it on now. I love it. I don't wear it every day because I know it's quite a heavy foundation. But for me, it's one foundation that I know I can use and my skin will be flawless all day. Like... Honestly, I've worn this before and had a nap and woke up and gone and done something and my sister's like, Sinead, your skin's flawless. And I was like, I've just had a nap. So yeah, honestly, this is the one. I, as I said, I don't wear it every single day. I wear it if I'm going to London for the day and I want my makeup to last. I wear it on nights out. I wear it for filming. I just wear it for like occasions when I want my makeup to look really good. So the bronzer that I've been loving and completely rediscovered recently is Hula. So I was using this when I was younger in like college and um, in like sixth form and stuff and I was loving it and then I didn't have as much money when I went to uni so I switched to like high street brands and then I literally, um, was well, the other day I was working with Benefit and they gifted me some and I just completely rediscovered it. Like I was literally like why have I not been using this all the time? I've used as I said before like NARS, NARS is actually really good so I can't fault that. Um, that is the other one that I love. Um, but I've been using, um, I've tried like so many different ones from even MAC, like the MAC one I just thought was terrible. Um, and yeah, there's so much more on this, is so, it's actually so affordable and it's so good. And it's just a perfect like warm golden glow kind of colour. Um, and I actually just use it for everything too, like, I don't have a separate one for contour and a separate one for my face bronzing. I just use it all over my face and then I put a bit of extra for like contour and also it's got this little brush which all benefit um, like bronzers and blushes and things have and it's perfect for contouring I think so I literally just swipe it and then just do lines like wherever I want to use it you'll see that in my get ready with me if you watch that and then blend with a normal brush and it's so great for getting it exactly where you want like in the precise places and finally I have been loving the YSL lipstick I have to have a real moment of confession here and say that I didn't buy this as a lipstick to use because I'd read that it was really good. I bought it because I had a voucher to spend that I got in a goodie bag and I wanted it for Instagram pictures. I have to admit that is why I bought it. It's a beautiful lipstick and I was like, I've got to get one of those for an Instagram picture. They, it just makes like the perfect prop for flat lace. But little did I know how much I was going to fall in love with it. So I think, I don't know what colour it is because it's rubbed off. That's how much I've used it. But I think it's, it's either 22 or 27. That's what I'm going to say. I think it's called Giggle. Like, I vaguely remember it being called Giggle. But maybe that's something else. But yeah, Giggle. Um, and it is just the most amazing... It's almost like a lip balm, just with a tint. And oh, it smells and tastes like watermelon, which is like the most insane thing. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm someone who literally smells all of my makeup. Or just anything in life. Like, literally, if I get something, the first thing I do is smell it. My boyfriend thinks I'm so weird. But yeah, I love it wear all the time and it's just 
really nice for that like kind of your lips but better glossy sheen so i know i've been blabbing for ages so i just wanted to talk to you about one or two more things which is my tan so i love fake tan i love it on other people but i'm so freaking lazy that i never normally wear it but recently i've really got back into it so before so let me talk about recently and before recently so before recently i have been using body blur all the time because i'm lazy i haven't got the time for fake tan can't be asked to put it on have to wait and be tanned all the time so i just have this which i can pop on if i decide i want to wear a skirt that day so this is like perfect if you're like me if you're lazy or if you have a last minute like fluff of being not tanned and you have to be getting your legs out then this is like perfect it's the most insane color it um it doesn't wash off if you like slow drink or anything um, it only comes off with soap and it's meant to last up to 24 hours so this is perfect um, and then recently I have been using the Vita Liberata Phenomenal and it's like a mousse and it goes on so nicely doesn't stink which is the one thing that I hate about fake tan and half the reason why I don't like doing the one where you're tanned all the time um, so I can sleep in it normally I can't sleep I can't sleep with the smell of fake tan um, but this doesn't smell like fake tan I don't think um, it takes two seconds to put on like so quickly because it's mousse and it rubs in really nicely and then in the morning I just rinse it off and I'm tanned. Um, I mean, I'm, I don't know if you can think I'm tanned now or not but this is what I've got on. I put it on like four days ago so yeah, I try and put it on like once or twice a week um, so I have been getting through this now, I need to get some more but I really, really, really love it. Like, I can't say enough good things about this tan. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you liked this video, let me know if you want me to keep doing beauty favourites and as I said before if you want me to do more beauty videos then let me know and I will do that, I've just realised that I look naked if I go down this low, <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, make sure you subscribe, leave a thumbs up or a comment if you liked it and I'll see you next time, bye!